Turn the switch towards you. You want the wheel to go counterclockwise, not clockwise. Grab your ball. All right, so that's that's a bull. So that's what you're gonna do. Now, oh, could you grab the, the wire off the table? Special. So now, what you guys are gonna do is watch this again, and I'll explain how it was done. So you got your wheel turned on. You usually want to have this stuff cleaned off. So you want to put the clay down. Make sure it's on there. Because what will happen, and it will happen, all it always does, someone's clay comes off, and now you have it doing laps around your, your splash pan. Just turn the wheel off. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. So now, you're going to turn it on full speed. You want to sit close to your wheel. You don't want to sit back on it because you want to support your elbows. If, if, if you notice how my arms were in, it's because this is where I got most of my support. When you're centering, the clay's bouncing around. You don't want to have your elbow out here. You want to have it in your hip. That way it's braced against your, your body. Use the heel of your hand. It won't bounce around. Don't center out here with your fingers. So, to start, I'm just going to quickly press it down. Now. What you can do at this point is cone your clay. That means you're going to pinch it together and raise it up at the same time. So you're coning it up, and then when you go back down, you're going to be pushing with your left hand straight in and compressing with your right hand. And then you feel it and it's centered. Okay? Now notice this. You want to have like a cone shape on top of your, your clay when you're, you're centering. You don't want to have it flat. Now what I did was I pushed in with my left hand, put my right thumb in, in the palm of my right hand, and then I could adjust how much I want to, to use. If it's a big piece of clay, I can have it out here. If it's small, I can bring it in. And I'm using the side of my hand and I have it angled up. Okay? And I'm pressing, pressing straight in and at an angle. So I'm compressing the clay. Elbows are in. Now, next thing, you can do this several ways. You can use your, your thumb and press down. Right here is a little nipple. You don't want to put your, your finger directly on top of it. You want to stay on, on one side of the axis point. So put your, your, your fingertip right up on the edge of the nipple. So you can either use your thumb or your fingers. All right, if you go with your thumb, you just press down. 
and you want to make that funnel shape. See how there's a funnel shape in there? When you get the bigger pieces and you can't get your thumb all the way down there, you just switch over to your, your fingers and press down like this. Now, when you're starting out, you want to check the bottom because a lot of people are either going to make them too thick or really thin and not have a bottom. You want to have enough clay down there so that you can trim your wheel or trim your pot afterwards. So take your pin tool, stick it into the center, pull it out. There's about this much clay. So that's okay. I got enough clay where I can trim my foot. It's not going to be too thin or too thick. So I'm going to turn it back on, just kind of compress that down. Now what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to hook my middle finger and drag it across the floor. So now I've opened my well and now I'm going to open the floor up. So as the wheel's turning, just drag it straight across towards me. <clears throat> this is now opening it. And depending on how big you want to make your pot is how wide you want to do your foot, your floor. So now I've got that opened. So now what I'm going to do is bring the walls up. Now with bringing the walls up, you're bringing the clay up, but you're also trying to make them even. Because when it comes to the pots, or any pot, it's not a matter of uh, whether or not it's, it's heavy or light, it's whether or not the walls are even. So you don't want to have a whole lot of clay at the bottom and really thin at the top. You want to have them even all the way through. So you take your your two fingers on the inside, your left hand inside, the knuckle of your right hand on the outside, the outside edge, and then you're going to put your left thumb over on your right hand. So they are now working together. And what you're doing is pinching the clay and lifting it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push in. So you see how I just went in? I'm not even lifting yet. I'm going to push in and now I'm going to lift. even even speed, nice and smooth. Let up pressure with the inside hand a little bit so I can keep it in. If the clay flares out, it means you're just pushing too much with your inside hand. Also, since it's thicker down at the bottom, thinner at the top, you don't need as much pressure as you get towards the top. Now, I'm going to do that again. And what I'm doing is I'm going up towards my left shoulder. So I'm pushing in. Bring it up nice and even. Let up pressure towards the top. I'm going to do that again. Notice how, how the rings are nice and tight. Bring it right up to the top. Compress the lip. Now, this is kind of a tall cylinder to make, to make a bowl, but it can still work. It'll just be kind of a taller bowl. So now what I'm going to do with my, my inside hand, my left hand goes inside, take my right hand, and I can support my, my left arm. So what I'm going to do is start to spread my fingers out, and so I'm spreading them out against the wall closest to me. It's going to start to enlarge the pot. So you can make them any way you want. Like th this one just has more straight walls to it. If you want to have more of a curve, then you just push more at the bottom. It starts to curve it a little bit more. So the clay will respond to any kind of pressure you put to it. You can also put in patterns or whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's say if I took that lip out, I could have a bowl that has a lip that's flared out. If I don't, I just bring it back in. Okay, now let's say the top gets a little a little ding in it, okay? What, what do you do? You grab the pin tool, hold it nice and firm with this hand, inside finger dragging, thumb over on the pin tool, and all you do, score a line and lift it up. So that's trimming the lip, okay? Take the sponge, or even just your, your, your finger, you just kind of compress it a little bit, and notice how I, I don't have like a super thin lip. So we'll just shape this a little bit more and then so I'm just going to press this out a little bit more. So 
So, sponge out any water you have in there. Now, if I want to smooth out this, this lip some more, I'm going to take a wet paper towel, drape it over, over the, the edge, and now that just kind of smooths it out a little bit more, rounds it out. Now, the next thing I need, need to do is trim off the fat. Fat is down here at the bottom. So I've got it shaped. Now what I'm going to do is follow the shape of the pot into the fat. So I'm going to picture where it goes. Hold this nice and firm. You want this slanted bladed side facing you and slightly turned up. So when it cuts, it'll push the clay away. Now I'm going to start up here. Hold it nice and firm. Follow the shape of the pot. Undercut it. Take that away. This can go back in the cooler. And I've got I've got my my bowl. Now let's say you want to smooth that out just a little bit more. Get rid of those rings a little bit. You can just take a rib, a rubber rib, and then you can just kind of form it around. And it'll take those little lines out. You can also smooth them out later. Uh, the wooden ribs like this are good if you want to make your inside curve nice and firm. You can use this on the inside. Um, but this is how you make a pot. Then take the string, hold it down, trim it off. And you just take your two fingers and lift it up. Alright, now with these guys, if I were to cut it in half, this is what they'd be. This one's cut in half too. So if I cut it in half, notice how it's pretty even all the way up. It's a little thicker down, down here at the bottom, but that's okay because that's where I'm going to trim. So the walls are even. I got enough clay down, down here to cut a foot into, and that's that's pretty much what it is. So this is throwing a ball. You want even balls. Questions?